Hey guys, this is Jacob, JL Acres. Um, just wanted to show you a little project that I'm working on here. This is my attempt at a Johnson Sioux um, bioreactor compost pile. Um, I'll be honest, I did very little research um, when I was putting this together. Just kind of saw some things, heard some people talk about it. So we'll see if this actually works um, and or how well it works. So here's the idea. Um, this is a composting method. The traditional composting method that most of us are familiar with involves um, putting together a mixture of um, what we call um, brown stuff, green stuff, and black stuff. So some living green things possibly and some um, brown dead things to kind of help absorb things and then some black soil to get stuff started. And traditional composting involves a lot of mixing, um, a lot of aerating the compost to get it to break down. Um, and so David Johnson was doing some research in some different composting methods, um, working with some dairies in California, and um, discovered this way of composting. This is a different type of composting. Traditional composting um, uses a lot of, uh, or really amplifies the bacterial profile. This method is going to amplify the fungal properties. So here's what we did. Um, you're supposed to take a bunch of um, material. Um, he uses chopped up leaves. We were cleaning out our straw hay mow, um, getting ready to put some new straw in. And so you saturate that material and you put it in um, a setup kind of like this. You want it to have lots of airflow. So I've got some um, weed, barrier, weed barrier cloth here to help breathe. Um, I've got it up on a pallet so that there can be airflow underneath. And I've got these pipes are in here. Um, for a day or two and then I'll pull them out and those holes should stay intact and then I will not touch this pile um, in terms of mixing it for about a year is the idea and in that time this straw is going to become host to a whole bunch of fungal spores and they are going to bury throughout there and reproduce and um, what they're discovering is you can get a huge variety of uh, fungus um, colonies that grow in this and then you can use the resulting um, material either in your gardens or as um, a seed coating to help bring in fungus to um, your garden or your cropland. So I just loaded up a, a bucket, loader bucket here of straw and I ran some water in it here and so um, we're getting down to the end um, and then just kind of forked it in here. I probably do not have this straw as wet is what I should have. Um, and it, you're supposed to kind of regularly irrigate it to keep it, the whole pile moist. Um, but this is just an experiment. I had a, a little bit of free time today, and so I thought I'd just throw something together, and uh, we'll just see how it turns out. This is my attempt at a Johnson Sioux bioreactor compost in a little corner of the backyard that is hard to mow anyway. Um, stay tuned, we've got some more videos that I've got um, Recorded, but I don't have edited yet showing some of the updated progress on some of our cover crop mixtures We're gonna hopefully have a weed zapper in here to go through the soybeans in another couple of days um, It's been a busy spring. And I haven't kept on top of things, but here's just a little video of Something we're trying and we'll see What it looks like in another year, so I'm not quite done. I'll probably put some uh, uh, We've got some dairy bedding uh, to add to this maybe get some other microbe colony started in there, but We'll see if it just catches some fungal spores from the air or uh, just from, I don't know where it comes from, but apparently you build it and they will grow. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, that's the project I'm working on today. Hope you guys are having a good day.